Well, at the wedding I was in Derry, uh, someone told someone that I was in podcast, I didn't say anything, and then they were going on their honeymoon to the Schlieve Russell in Cavan from Derry, oh, which is like nice. a fucking four hour drive, and they listened to like seven or eight podcasts on the way, and then they listened to all of them when they were just in the Schlieve Russell, like in the jacuzzi, and that was their honeymoon, was listening to our podcast. Oh my <laughs> god. Yeah. Our podcast, I thought you were going to say other people's, but uh, no, one of them was it, ours. Yeah, that was just us the whole way. And they were like, this is unbelievable. Ten hours of listening to us, like, wow. This wow. we should tell everybody, because you never know who's going to like it and share yeah. it. Like, they loved it, apparently. Absolutely loved <laughs> Neither of them have read Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> but it's even more bizarre. My God, like, my God. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Drunk Talk. The boys are lit, the boys are lit. Gondor calls her ale. It's one of our fans reached out to me and asked me to say that again on a podcast. We did this last so. week, Ross. You're a week late. Did you? Yeah. I didn't oh, listen to it. Oh, you're joking me. <laughs> Made us look stupid. You're joking me. Welcome back to the pod, Ross. Did they ask for the um, Gondor calls her ale or did they ask for me to do Gondor calls her ale, lads? Because I seem to remember it was the latter. Jesus. Silence is definite. Silence. The ego is huge. Specifics there, I don't know. He said it to me, uh, like, when I first got there, and you boys were late, so, you know. Oh, uh, well, I, right. <laughs> I, guess I quit then, I guess. Will I start again? No, no, keep <laughs> going, keep going, keep going. Fucking <laughs> looks cool. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> No right, we sang Hello and welcome to Drunk Talk. I'm your host, Ross. And we're back in the room. We're back in the room. <laughs> missed, missed the podcast there, lads. We're back. We're here with the usual crew. How are you, boys? Good, yeah. Good, good. How are you? Yeah, not so bad. Not so bad. I should come to you first. How are you, sir? Oh, great. Just fucking melting. It's been wild hot this week. So very warm. Still 20 odd degrees, I think, at half nine at night, which is unheard of territory for this part of the world. Yeah. It's fucking hot as nonsense. Yeah. I miss the rain. <laughs> Me too. The rain's down in Ireland. Hopefully come back <laughs> soon. <laughs> Have you ever seen the rain on a sunshine day? <laughs> is that Creedence Clear Water Revival? Yeah, is that, that's yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Moving on, moving on. Do your homework. I did, yeah. It's, it's a savage chapter. Probably. Yeah. Joe, it's it's a bit of serendipity there. I missed the pod, but luckily I got to come back for my favourite job. <laughs> That's nice when oh. things work out, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, nice when things work out. Some fucking job, though. Some fucking job. <laughs> what are you What are you drinking? Because uh, it's so hot, um, I love a nice cold beer uh, when it's really warm. So I went for a San Miguel. Me as well. Me too. I fucking knew it. Yeah, I yeah. Know, I, me too. Yeah. I'm a San Miguel as well. Yeah, it's just, it's nice beer to have when it's warm. Yeah, the Spanish got it right. Sunshine and they do. They know how to do a good beer. A good cerveza. They, they know how to handle the heat as well. In fairness to them, I've been yeah. going for naps at two o'clock all the, all all week. <laughs> My yes, boss is not happy about. It. Clears up the problem of who's going to ask Ross what he's drinking. He's already told us. <laughs> yeah, I need to get in there quick. Yeah, we need to start asking him first. Yeah, and uh, Owen Duffy, how are you? Good. Uh, as Ocean said, fucking boiling, roasting, boiling, steaming. Yeah. <laughs> All of the above. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here, good read. Oh, this one. <sighs> a good read, yeah. <laughs> yes, it's, read. It's, it's short, like, but it's a good read. Yeah. There's only, how many pages in this one? 10, 11, but, oh, it's full of juice. My heart is racing. That, yeah. that, that scene, literally, when you're reading yeah, the Gandalf bit, literally, you're getting goosebumps. I've never got that yeah. from a book before. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's class. Unbelievable. What are you drinking? I'm drinking a, a hobgoblin. <laughs> yeah. Um. I, for a while a now. What? For a while now, I was. Uh, I I seen it in in the supermarkets, and I was going to get. But I was like, no, I'll leave it for a chapter that we actually come across. You know, orcs and all that crack. So yeah, I went for it. It's yeah. a it's a ruby nice. beer. It's grand. It's nice. nice. Nice touch of class, ladies and gentlemen. And that is why he's the fan favorite. And I know goblin oh, on there, and the goblin. one there with the 
There you go. Nice. Yeah, Goblin one. actually has an axe on him, which is pretty fitting because you know, mind the more, yeah, go with dwarves, axes, all that crack. There you go. Nicely done. Bull McCabe, how are you, sir? I'm good now, thanks. How are you? Very good. Ah, oh, tops, tops. Actually, no, I'm I'm awful. I hate this weather. <laughs> no, I, I don't know why I lied right there. I'm sorry. Tops, tops. <laughs> yeah. Actually, tops no. Off. Tops, tops, tops off. off is what I want. Yeah, Gee, I'm actually horrendous. It's just a reflex yeah. to lie to people and tell them I'm good. <laughs> See Irish way. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. I'm absolutely horrendous. How are you? How are you? Not, grand, not yeah, good. grand, yeah, yeah. I have no yeah. no job. Lost me house. Wife's left yeah. me. Grand, yeah. Yeah, grand, yeah, it's fine. Grand yeah. otherwise. Yeah, living dream, living yeah. dream. Uh, have me health. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Paul, what are you drinking? Uh, loads of IPAs. It could be an indigo loads. PA. It could be an Irish loads. PA. Loads. Have you got a tasting tray in front of you or something? I have this Dipper. Dipper is my new thing. A Dipper is a double IPA, which basically just means double the alcohol, mm. which is which is also fun. Oh, tell me more. Double it's the taste. It's a nine point two percent trouble oh, brewing, shit. double IPA, oh. and then I have uh, two IPAs to, to calm me down. That's, that's <laughs> like the oh, all right regular yeah. ones, yeah. and then yeah. a line of coke to bring you back up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta take uppers and downers just to get that kind of medium buzz. Yeah, I don't think they were that kind of pod. I, I might cut that. <laughs> 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 I have a white hag and a hazy Jane or a hazy little thing. So a Sierra Nevada. So so a Sligo, a Dublin, and a California. You know, just to mix it up. Well, you can throw that foreign muck in the bin anyway. <laughs> it was a freebie from our our mate who came kayaking with us, who works for Four Corners. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He gave us a load Check of beers. It out. Check it out. And Bull, did you do your homework? Yeah, I did. Is this your favourite chapter so far? It's <laughs> so far, yeah. I mean, just like yourself, every chapter is my new favourite. Yeah, it's <laughs> unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It's so much action. I would action. say, yeah, this is definitely the most action-packed. This is, you know, we're quite close to the end of the first book here, lads. And I would almost go so far as to say that this is like the, the hmm, what's the word I'm looking for? Like the apex of, of the action like the whole book has been leading to this yeah yeah. Uh, and it calms down a wee bit I know he, he wrote them to be you know one big huge book or whatever but this here it seems like a natural kind of place to catch our breath you know and then they go to La Gloria and get a juice or whatever but <laughs> for our listeners I suppose we'll have to do a 20 second recap it's on you it's on you Ross to... it's on me this, is, this week's yours yeah get ready right. with the music and the countdowns lads we should do drums. Drums. All of us. Drums. Three, two, one. They go to a room, find Balin dead, read a book, says orcs are coming. The orcs come. They fucking leg it. Big Balrog comes and fucks shit up. Gandalf just tries the bridge and dies the end. <laughs> All right. Mm. Yeah. Very really good. I went quick there. I wonder if anyone will be able to understand me. Yeah. Yeah. What a bit quick. Like, what a bit quick We're kind like. of defeating the purpose of like catching up our fans. Like, it's just no, it's, it's a game. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Am I a game to you? <laughs> I said to Claire that uh, I was excited to get back onto the pod because it's probably the most famous piece of everything that happens in Lord of the Rings is this chapter. And without missing a beat, she goes, Oh, you cannot pass. Like, straight away. Fair play. So it pretty much is, I'd say, the most most famous. The most quotable. Yeah. I know it's slightly different in the movie, but we'll get into that. Yeah, even you quoting her there, she definitely didn't say cannot. She would have said shall not. Yeah, that's exactly what she said, yeah. So, lads, before we get there, you know, we're we're, we're ahead of ourselves. We'll work our way through it. I want to start off discussion on this chapter, uh, which is something that I noticed, which I think, you know... We've had a lot of feedback and said we need to focus a little bit less on the shite talk and more on the Lord of the Rings content. So I'm going straight to it. Shaft is a funny word. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few funny words in this chapter. Yeah. What? There's one every chapter. I have another word later on in the chapter that made me chortle a bit. I just feel like you know every time they go, they see a big shaft on the left, and a <laughs> shaft over there, a little, little little black shaft over there. <laughs> so, that's that's a, like a dark shaft. Over here, Are you singing like, the song in your head, going shaft, shaft? No, no, it's like you know that bit in Super Bad where a man can't stop throwing willies. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I imagine. <laughs> that's their second a reference to the shaft song in this podcast. <laughs> it's a good Is song. It? Yeah, we did it in chapter 11 as well. I only edited Seminal it. Seminal piece of music, <laughs> yeah. like. 
That's why. Father Ted really made a stick in my head, that song. Probably won't be in my head as much if it didn't kill Dermot Morgan, apparently. Oh, she, what is the other piece of uh, funny wordage that you noticed then? It was the goblin word for fire. Uh, well, now, this is how I read it. There is an accent on the A, so I don't hope I don't have another bull moment where I can't pronounce. Oh, no, I think the accent on the A means a uh, uh, carp latch. Just fucking tear away. Do, do as you okay. like. Gash. Ah, legend. <laughs> gash yeah. is a good word, but in Ireland, gash is yeah, used. It's an offensive word. It kind of is offensive. It's almost as bad. Kind of. <laughs> it's but not like, pretty anyway. No. It, no. We went through it's it before. It's a wound. Yeah. yeah. It's a wound. It's a wound. I yes. don't think we're allowed to talk about it. Yeah. A wound yeah. that never heals. <laughs> 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 now that's enough for you. There's enough for you, well, shapers. Lads, I wanted to say, right, so they go into this chamber and Gandalf picks up an old book to figure out what's happening. It's class piece of the, of the movie. Slightly different in the book, of course. But what I noticed, though, before we get into the content of that book, is that it appears to be written on leaves. Is that? Do you think that's actually, like, a maple leaf? Like, mm. what's going on here? Like? I don't think so. I think it's another word for page. Maybe. Yeah, I, I agree with Paul. I just think it's like, you know, when you're turning the leaves of a book... More so, I don't know. Maybe it is fucking on leaves. I read it literally, though. If it maybe was maybe literally on a leaf, I w- would imagine it's probably because of w- the only things they can get. You know, maybe there isn't. These boys can fashion f- like fish skin mail <laughs> from metal, and they know, can't make a fucking piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Well, it wasn't their strong point. No, but paper back then would have been goat skin or something like. It, it would have been, been paper, paper. But where are they getting paper? There's no trees like in yeah, the Moria. That's what I mean. Maybe it is. No goats either. Where are they getting leaves then if they're not getting from mm. trees either? I don't know. And you can't write in a hollow leaf. You know the hollow leaves, the le- hollow tree outside? I mean, oh, yeah. they're sacred and they're pointy. You wouldn't want to be writing in them. And Gandalf no, fucked them true. up. Well, yeah. Be writing with them maybe. Could be fucking orchkin or something. What I love about this pod is that we get to the the fucking nitty gritty, the fucking <laughs> in depth <laughs> stuff. Most random thing, <laughs> you know, the, the real. Yeah, 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 what? Give the people what they want. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what were the boys writing on? Yeah. Most action packed chapter on? of them all, and we're talking about the fucking leaves of paper. <laughs> I I just couldn't get it out of my head. Just a big old leafy job. Sorry, lads, I'm distracting us here. Some fucking crack though when they're reading that book, isn't it? Tense. Yeah, it's not happy. Like, and this yeah. bad thing happens. Another bad thing. Another drums, bad thing. drums. The the drums are cool. I love that. Did you think that the movie did the the scene justice when they find Balance Tomb and Gimli sad, and then Gandalf reads the book before all the shit kicks off? Like it was, it was pretty true. I think was that not verbatim, but it was close. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd agree. It is close. In the movie, they don't make it as obvious that there was a load of jewels and stuff plundered from the room. I know in like Mesolithic, I don't know what the word is, olden times when you buried someone, you buried them with all their jewellery and stuff, which Mm. is what it seems this was, that he was surrounded by all sorts of finery and nice things and it's all been taken. But in the film, I don't think that was as obvious. But maybe it's hard to describe mm. that in a movie. I don't mm. know, but I think it was good. In the book, it's just a tomb room, and then the there's a guard room, and they're separate. Whereas they join them for this for the film. Yeah. And yeah. then there's a well that like it looks like a well, uh, but in the book, it's just a hole in the ground. Yeah. yeah, mm. yeah. And there's no over. skeleton that falls down it. I yeah. Mean, in the book, they kind of just pushed it all together and made Pippin yeah, the, 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 the 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 bad guy. Well, I'm going to get into that later on. Don't you worry about that. We'll hold our horses there. Um, so Balin lasted five years according to this book in, yeah, Moria, in Moria as Lord of Moria that's some stint done isn't it five years yeah he, they literally from day one they must have been just fighting off orcs and just coming across shit it's like oh fuck's sake day after day constantly dealing with shite down there because mm. um, they, yeah. they say he died like, you gotta want it you gotta that's want true, it that's true yeah but he, he died some sneaky old orc behind a rock or something 
got him in the back with an arrow or yeah he went outside to look into the pool didn't he he went outside to have a look at the, the uh, magic pool thing. yeah I'm not sure what he was out at. the back door the way they came in or mm. the other way the dale side the other side the mirror mirror or whatever dim yeah, I, I, yeah. yeah I didn't really get them too though like the mirror mirror and the dim dale I, I don't know what they are so I couldn't really you know, I, I could be wrong I think the, the mirror mirror or something is like a magic pond and it's like the far side near Loch Lordian and the Dimmerill Dale might just be that whole area between Moria and uh, Loch Lordian Forest yeah but that's just a stab in the dark there I, I think that's what it is yeah um, I had a question though like where or when did they get the time to bury Balin in this tomb like as the lads are banging on the door or like, this is what it is you see so Balin was shot in the back yeah like he that, that wasn't in an attack or whatever so I think that sh- shit was just crap for five years but they weren't like under siege until the very 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 end when their numbers were dwindled so apparently like well, like I said it took five years for mm. them all to die Balin might have you know just like living on the frontier like yeah yeah I think that's pretty like they never ran into the Balrog yeah you know what I mean how do we know they even stayed five years? I mean, you can write Gandalf on pages. It, like, I could write in this book that this journal has lasted me 10 years. But and you could write that the date's 20, 30, <laughs> like, no one's going to call you out in it now. Yeah. I suppose, I suppose you're just, you're just hoping there that... They're you know, honest. If they, took the, if they were bothered to write a chronicle, they would have done it right or whatever, yeah. I mean, I guess, okay, but fake news is possible, you know, like... Well, there's a hot, a hot take that they just wanted to show that Balin was a decent bloke and he, he successfully did something for five years, but really he didn't. But they wanted to keep his honor, so just pretended. Oh, well, I think slight on dwarves that, there. Oh, that's God. a hot take. That, that's a hot take. But um, I think that the fact that it lasted five years makes it more possible and explains how they built his tomb. Mm. Yeah. they weren't yeah. always under siege yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're yeah. hardly like fire and arrows are like, <laughs> getting in quick chiseling away at something at the same time yeah. <laughs> quite quite long, long. <laughs> wheeling him down in I, a fucking I haven't carved his name in it yet yeah. Jesus Christ yeah. Bally <laughs> well fair fucks them five years I honestly thought they were in and out and dead like as soon as you walked in yeah, you're yeah. goosed but it just shows you that when the ring is involved shit hits the fan much quicker like much fucking quicker mm. yeah um, it seemed to me the way they said it in the book that they kind of they didn't go the whole way into Moria they'd take like one room one chamber and then that would be it and then they'd move on to the next one maybe they they, had, they didn't explore the whole thing because obviously there was orcs and goblins and all sorts of balrogs in there mm. so mm. They, they wouldn't have been fighting all the time no no, I don't think so. Also, like, why do you think that? Uh, I think Ori was the one who was writing all the notes down, or he said a couple of them were. But he said, yeah, Ori was the one that started writing in like Elvish. To like, why would he do that? To let what, other people know the fucking what was going in on ca- in here, in or... case it was an elf that came across him and that no more dwarves went in there. I don't know. I mm. think he said. No, yeah. I have a hot take on that. If anyone's interested, go for it. Absolutely. So they said that some of it is written in. Dalish, some of them is written mm. in uh, in dwarfish, and some is written in elfish, and they that's how they know that it's your man's because Gibney's like, oh yeah, when he wrote, he usually wrote in elfish, and I was think before they killed Smaug, excuse me, boys, before they killed Smaug, <laughs> Durin's folk were scattered to the wind, right? So they all grew up all over the world. That's why some of them probably only learned to write certain languages. Good point. Yeah. That's why uh, maybe uh, he yeah. just was one of the dwarves who happened to learn how to write in elfish. That's that's my hot take. Mm-hmm. Good one. He said he was good and fast on writing on it. Jesus Christ, my words. He said he was fast at writing. Yeah, it. He, could, he could write legible. He said he was good and fast on writing on it. He was good and fast on writing on it as well, wasn't <laughs> he? Fuck, <laughs> was class. Got the vaccine and the beer kicking in. But also, <laughs> yeah, he and the heat. He uh, it says that fucking poor old Oin was taken by the what was it the Maher Shuig Moor. And the Maher Shug yeah. yeah. the, the watcher the and the mother water. suck. Mm. Oh, lads, did you, I assume you spoke about that in the last pod. Yeah, yeah that's the Guelga for uh, squid. But I looked it yeah. up. Maher Shug right. more. It's a nice word. Oh, very, very good. And I suppose I hope that you mentioned that it didn't have tentacles. It was snakes. We didn't mention that. I don't it was think. arms. It was arms. What, with An fingers? Arm. 
an arm. Yeah, I honestly think there's an arm grabbed Frodo, and he's thinking about the arm on his shoulder. I think that's just how he described, like the, the literal, the closest I way just... he could describe a tentacle was. It looks like an arm. It's an arm of whatever that beast is. I like to think that shit's fucking weird in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> and we're going to yeah. get into how fucking weird shit is when the Balrog yeah. turns up, by yeah. the way. Yeah, yeah. Um, he is I a just weird think character. It's, a, it's a lot fucking weirder. What about the drums? Do you think it was by accident that the letters used to describe the drum noise spelled the word doom? Mm. He could have said boom if he wanted, but it's doom approaching, mm. right? Doom, doom, doom. Yeah, I like that. I noticed that yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, class. Tyke knows what he's at, oh, yeah. The writing in it is incredible. Shock horror. There's a hot take. It sets the pace as well. They get faster as you go through the chapter and everything. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, very hot take. Tyke knew how to write English, <laughs> <laughs> which is impossible. Like how unreal! Like just as a literary device, is it that they read about these boys getting killed? Like they're coming. We can't get out. They are coming. They yeah, can't get okay. out. And then. Doom doom, 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 and then Legolas. They're coming, and Gimli. We can't get out. It's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. They don't do that in the movie, where mm. like you know you ah, oh, too good lads. I'm too, I'm too much enjoying this fucking shit. So I'm <laughs> <laughs> fucking great stuff. Do you not think so? Yeah, yeah it's class. That's when Gandalf says one of his best quotes in this entire chapter as well. When they say that, with the, with the first boom, doom, doom noise coming, it's like, we're trapped. But they were trapped, but I was not here then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah it was, obviously, he backs himself in every situation. It's like, well, I wasn't here, so, you know, yeah, I'm better than right. <laughs> And he's, he's not like, you know, he's not keeping his cool. He's not being James Bond about it. He's like, oh, no, Jesus just... Christ, all right. Let's see what I can pull out of my bag here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Like, he's not, yeah. uh, you know, he's, he's always some... angry and shit, like, but he's fucking... He's you know, flustered, but always prepared. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's just the best character in the fucking history character. I love that he goes up to the door when he hears the, the enemies coming. And yeah, like, he, he just, just sticks out his Kodak and he, like, winds it up and he puts on the flash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gets a good Who are you? What are you? Oh, a fucking cave troll. That's the second time he did that. He did that in the last one as well. Always calling lads out. Sends out a little beam. Yeah, he did just he not... like it's, uh, he's almost hoping that you know he's so famous among people. He hopes that he's famous with orcs, and some of them might go, "Here, yeah, that's that fucking Gandalf fella." Maybe we, we should mm. stay clear. Like, yeah, you know? yeah, better stay away. I don't think it's ever happened for him, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. try it. one day. No, it doesn't seem he's like it has. Still it trying, like he should man. use a few more names. He's so old; they probably just know him by different names. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking old as shit and he's just flustered all the time he's angry all the time now he's gone mm. he's gone I think they it was a very Gandalf centric chapter you know obviously like you know even Aragon at the start steps away a little bit and who's he speaking to but he's, he's speaking to one of the hobbits isn't he and he, he says like something that's like oh don't be sad Sir Gandalf's here you know like he, he's got us out of worse even if he doesn't make it out of it yeah, we were talking about that in the last chapter. Like, oh, was that of, last chapter? Wasn't yeah, it? yeah he, that, he, he, there's a lot of foreshadowing with Gandalf's doom, yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah. let him go in first while he's yeah, still here. Really, and like, what? Yeah, yeah where's he going? All that sort of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Where's he going? He's going somewhere. And Sam says he a wolf won't get him now. A wolf won't kill that lad. Oh, he won't end up in his belly or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 something else in store. Yeah. Can we get in? Let's get into it then. Uh, who blames Pippin? Can I go around one by one? Ocean, do you blame Pippin? Um. Do you know, I think I have the same train of thought that you, I think what you're going to say, yes, in a strange way, but then Gandalf is the one who let Pippin come. So it kind of comes full circle that Gandalf's decision is the one that got him into the situation. Because at the meeting of Elrond, Gandalf's the one that overrules Elrond on whether Pippin should come or not. True. Gandalf specifically says to Elrond, well, you know, friendship is a good thing. Maybe it'll be better off to have him there. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the final say on whether he should come or not. Mm -hmm. And then Pippin is the one who potentially started this whole wheel That's what I want to, rather than get it into this, you know, semantics of, you know, in the long run, short of things, Pippin's parents are to blame. No, <laughs> but I, I think Gandalf... <laughs> Eru Iluvatar did it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the elephant in the room. <laughs> but do you think that Pippin dropping the 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 rock down that no. hole? No, you don't. 
No, because I think he didn't drop the... completely. <laughs> no, I think if Pippin didn't drop his rock down there, didn't drop his rock, he would have dropped his rock somewhere else. It would have happened right. eventually. It was set. The wheels were set in motion. Too many people have said something's you happened. You don't to think they Gandalf. couldn't have got through Moria? No. without meeting the Balrog. This... No. Yeah, you don't think I, so. Right? I think it's predestined. Bull, or right, go to you, Bull. Then what do you think? I think it it started the chain of events, like Ushin said. But it all stems back to Frodo's parents drowning in the, the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only messing, I'm only messing. Jesus I Christ. think Gandalf let him off the hook. He said, look, um, yes, the f***ing doom, doom drumming started as soon as you f***ing knocked that stone down the wall, you silly f***. But he said, I think he says something like, I think this would have happened anyway. I think, yeah, think, think Pippin didn't that. really do it. So if Gandalf's letting him off the hook, then I'm letting him off the hook. Uh, okay. Oh, no, good you. Yeah, I, I kind of feel sorry for him as well, but... Um, sorry for Gandalf for getting killed. Yeah, I feel <laughs> No, for Pippin. But he, he he did. He kicked the stone in the well or whatever, and it said... He didn't the, kick it, though. He didn't... It wasn't an accident. Yeah. He, he, well, he, it it said, he sticks his head over the side of it. He's like, oh, this is cool. Yeah, yeah. And drops... Oh. All right, but look, in, in the last chapter, right, it says... Now, Bull just said there that as soon as he does, it starts the drums off, but it doesn't. In the last chapter, when he drops it down few minutes later they hear a noise and Gimli says that's that's a uh, hammer if I've ever heard it. it it's not drums he said he says and you know if a, if a dwarf says it's a, it's a hammer it's a hammer and then we don't know how many days later the drums start because like this wasn't even in the same room as Balin's chamber right this was like at maybe two sleeps ago which could be two days so I, I don't think they start straight away but yeah I agree they wouldn't have got out there without meeting a Balrog or the orcs or whatever happened to e- even if Pippin didn't drop it I think so yeah okay so I'm on my own here where I'm saying it's a 100% fucking Pippin's fault <laughs> Pippin's yeah. a fucking shape. I'm on my own I, I'm listening lads that's my cross the bear because Gandalf has made it through Moria before and so has Aragorn so it can be done mm. and this fuck maybe it was Gollum's fault we don't know no one oh. hears from Gollum yeah it could sure. be Gollum yeah was Gollum definitely in Moria I know yeah. he is in the movie. Uh, yeah. In the last chapter, they Chap- say. Read the last chapter. Mentions him twice. Yeah. All right. Good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. Could be Gollum, mm. but I think it's fucking Pippin's fault. I'm sticking with it because you're a prick. That's fine. And I know you could say, oh, but it all worked out in the end and Gandalf the White comes back. And But let's be honest with ourselves here. Who among us really thinks Gandalf the White is cooler than Gandalf the Grey? Yeah. He's different. He's very different. He's also not as cool. He's not as fun. Mm. Not as angry. He's too clean as white. Too clean. Yeah. Don't like it. And kind of standoffish. Yeah. Hasn't got the legacy. <laughs> Do you think that's because we have always had a bad kind of feeling towards Saruman? Because he was the white wizard before Gandalf was. And he took him out. No, he... Maybe. But I also just think it's, it's just because Gandalf's the greatest. He's the best written character just ever. Like, he's a man. So you know, it's hard to live up to that. I know they're technically the same dude, but like, if you had to pick one, I don't know, Bull, who'd you pick? Uh, the video gamer in me loves somebody who can just cheat at the game because he's just like brought back to life and has all the superpowers ever, you know, and you don't have to do any of the work. But Gandalf's <laughs> put in the work to get to that point. You know, he's earned, all, it's like beating the video game and you get all the stuff unlocked. So he's put in the hard graft. Grey, Grey deserves it, you know. Mm. White's just the result. Did he put in the hardcraft or did he fail his task? And then his boss was like, right here, take better stats and go back. He didn't <laughs> fail it because he well, like who's to say that he like, like if at that moment, at the end of this chapter, he's gone. He, we don't even know if he's dead. You know, he true, hasn't died there and true. then. Yeah. And he 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 might kill the Balrog there and then and stay alive and come back and help. Or he might have just helped Frodo. Like we have, if you hadn't read the le- the next few chapters, Frodo might have just, yeah, yeah that was fine. And then he got to Mordor because of that, because he wasn't killed by that Balrog, so he would have fulfilled his task in that way. Mm, fair enough. We get back, we get more into that, I suppose. You know, the actual death of Gandalf in, in a little while. But before that, there is a little scrimmage, <laughs> scrap. So the, the drums scrap, start, yeah, yeah, the drums start going up. And uh, oh, and I think you mentioned that this is the first time that we see orcs. I think not include maybe the possibility of an orc and Bree. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> this is the first time that they're described, right? This is the first time we see them and hear them. Yeah, properly, yeah. 
I was going to mention that as well. Like I was looking into like, you know, the difference and this is me drinking my beer and I'm like, well, how can I bring that into the episode? But there, like, there's a couple of different types. So you have your orcs, you have your goblins, you have your urukai. And apparently there was maybe all three. I know the movie, it was goblins, right? Yeah. And they were crawling on the walls and all that kind of crack. But they definitely say orcs and urukai here. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I was just looking in just for myself. Do you know the difference between them or? I'm going to have I a guess, I didn't know right? there was urukai in this. He said, I thought urukai are Saruman's invention. No, Gandalf said there's black uruks of Mordor. He said Aye, that, but an Uruk isn't an Uruk Kai. See, it's the hyphen that makes it an Uruk Kai. Mm-hmm, right. Yeah, so they're they're not the Saruman invention things. Right. These boys are definitely Mordor Uruks. Right. Which right, I think right. is just another way of pronouncing Orc. Yeah. Um I don't think I don't know, and I'm gonna have a guess and say that it's not actually really that clear cut. What's mm-hmm. the difference between them? In my head, because the movies and the video games, goblins are short and orcs are big. Um but I don't know if it's that clear cut. I know what an Urukai is, which is like, you know, goblin and men and like a saruman kind of thing they're basically orcs that can run in daytime yeah mm. Mm. and that's what makes them different and more dangerous i always imagine goblins live in mountains goblins always live underground that's what i think but i don't know yeah because the hobbit there's goblets in the mountain as well or yeah, goblins that, that's or whatever, just, yeah. i just associate them with living underground mm. yeah but. i'm not 100 percent on it own though is, is it clear cut i don't know like you know Apparently, it's not clear cut at all, but um, <laughs> here we go anyway. Right, <laughs> right. Wow. hold on, I, I get a beer. Hold on, <laughs> Oh, he's actually getting a beer. I might get a beer as well. I might get a beer too. All right, then if everyone else is, I'm, I'm getting one, I'm getting one, I'm doing it. We're getting a beer. Right, Owen, you're, you're just about to break down the intricacies of racial uh, differences of e- evil bad things in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, evil bad things. Right, so I, I just did a bit of research on this because I, I watched one video and then it just got super interesting and it was mad. And I went down a little wormhole and um, so Goblin, apparently from the Silmarillion, is just an interchangeable word with Orc. He never, he never like said one is different than the other it's just like a different word for for an orc um i think the whereabouts of where they're from like if they're in the mountains they were like darker and smaller and got you know were able to run around the the, the fucking the shafts <laughs> so that's why they're a bit smaller than usual orcs right and the urukai meaning so uruk in the dark tongue or black speech sorry uh means orc and then hi just means people so it's just orc people. Okay. So again, yeah. not very specific to anything. I think it's just the ones that can go out in the daytime. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They yeah, look yeah, more yeah. like people. They look more like men. They're taller, right? Yeah, they're taller. Like they're man, stronger. I, I, like I think you were, you know, it's canon now. You're man and brave. You're man and brave. <laughs> Which yeah, absolutely could be, and I agree with you. Um, but yeah, as you said, they're the the orcai. They're bigger. They're stronger. They're faster. They can go out in daylight. Um, I, apparently all of them can go out in daylight but like orcs and goblins they just don't just like it. it as much so they're like nah uh, fuck that shit it's not It's not like a troll who turns to stone as soon as they hit the, yeah. the sunlight ah uh, okay and then the hobgoblins which is the drink I'm drinking <laughs> um, it's just like, it. again it's just another name for a larger stronger orc ah um, uh, okay they, the hobgoblins are not mentioned in the Lord of the Rings but they are mentioned in the Hobbit twice I think it is yeah the language around that would make me think it's lesser than an orc yeah but they're meant to be like the, the big fucking big bad like a hobnob <laughs> no a knob is good but a hobnob is it's Hob, one. yeah <laughs> hobnob is a delicious biscuit <laughs> yeah but yeah like the, the then the history do you know the history of orcs or have you um, heard of they anything? were they were elves captured by Melkor and corrupted or some shit yeah. yeah, bang on. Bang on, yeah. Fuck yeah, bastards. So and they never he never explains like how to how to grow them. Is there lady orcs, is little orc babies? Mm. There was Did the, they just keep corrupting more people? It's weird, isn't it? And yeah. Little eggs. Do they do they catch yeah, do they lay eggs? Do they yeah. do they grow them on stocks? Mm. I think there was chat like in tomatoes. some fan forum about like how he mentioned in letters about that they were mixing them with people like so like the orcs would catch capture more people and then mix 
with them and they, yeah. I, but the letters he corrects himself yeah. and everything like you know yeah, he, yeah. He, I think at that stage you can just uh, you can make up and you want like I don't know like he does correct himself a lot and then kind of thing like if you want to get super deep into it I think we need to go back to your point that your man is in Bree it could be an Urukai because if if it is then Jesus they can pass among people like that's, that's scary enough like I don't think we, we we talked about that enough when you said implications it. implications yeah they could be like you know they could move Accountants. into Brie <laughs> Accountants. well we said civil servants at the time yeah, <laughs> yeah. just run a hardware shop <laughs> well, plotting the, then you get into this whole like you know like Oh, what well, some fascist leader takes over Bree and he you know, he wants you know, only pure Breeans should live here. Yeah. Oof. There is implications there, but let's not get into that. I like the good versus evil. I always just thought that the way Tolkien talked about orcs and Urkai is that they were just that you don't treat them like people, like a race. You just treat yeah. them as like they're they're mutant things that are in they can't make them nice you can't teach yeah. them nice things all they want is evil and death yeah i think so and I, that's the way I, r- I like it in my head and i don't like to have complicated thoughts about complicated things <laughs> so i don't like to think of, <laughs> oh maybe orcs can be good like, no they are bad and these are bad guys and we support the good guys and that's yeah. why i like and it. i want I, it to be clear cut like that yeah i want it to be clear cut if i wanted some you know ambiguous shit i'd read fucking game of thrones <laughs> right, and and that's good, and it's got its place, but that's not what this is. You know what I mean? Orcs are bad, and they gotta go. They <laughs> they gotta go. So anyway, they fucking have a little scrap. Credit a uh, shout out to Frodo. Leps in no bother. He doesn't get the justice again in the movie yeah. to make him just a lad running around. The Shire. <laughs> the Shire. Yeah, who so, did they give that line to? They gave that to was it Marion Pippin or Sam? Sam, I think. Yeah, he's throwing but, pots at people or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Sam's brave as fuck in this. Like, what well, he chops off, you know, he jumps in and saves the day, or you know, at least helps. Mm-hmm. Well, they all he have helps, to. Yeah. But Frodo is the first Hobbit steps up. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. Boromir takes a swing, and his knife or his blade is too blunt to draw any blood or to do any damage. So he kind of rings around in his hands and he drops it or something. Yeah. And then Frodo comes in with sting, and it's like, ha! and he actually yeah, draws yeah. blood. It wasn't Boromir. Aragorn tried to attack the big troll foot I think and he said it didn't work it just bounced back and then Frodo comes in and stabs stabby yeah. stab and yeah. draws yeah. blood that sizzles yeah. on the ground which is no troll what blood. is that yeah. like alien yeah <laughs> but Aragorn's like blood. Jesus boy blood. you have a good blade there time time to talk about it in the middle of a battle Jesus boy you have a good blade not oh, that's some job you have there it's yeah. <laughs> so also the first time that he uh, Aragorn refers to Frodo as Frodo son of Drogo yeah is that like yeah, a yeah. respect thing or no it's to it's to go chime back to uh, Drogo falling in the off the boat and how that <laughs> all happened <laughs> and that's why the story exists Lose our <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> of course of course one more you've one more of them left <laughs> and I mean I mean till we finish Return of the King <laughs> <laughs> you've one more of that left right I'm just that's give them what the fans left. want Oh, is that is that what they want? Is it? You yeah. have your finger on the pulse. I have my own uh, fan fan base. Just for... <laughs> you can't count yourself as a fan. You love it. Look at you. You're sitting there giggling away. Fuck's sake. It's a great little scrap, I think. Uh, Gimli's useless. Um, just oh, he chops the legs of someone, doesn't he? Yeah, but then they're all running away, and he's just still like you yeah, know, crying sad. beside Balin's tomb. Mm. Yeah. Why Not is right. it right? So I'm going to get the name wrong because I always called him Groin instead of. Not uh, I know it's Gloin, Gloin, Gloin. <laughs> <laughs> but his his uncle is Owen, right? It's Owen or Ori. Owen. Owen. Is, which Owen. one? Gloin and Owen. 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 Right. So it's Owen. Owen is Owen. <laughs> Fuck me, I can't. can't Have you not watched The Hobbit? Like he goes through to multiple. It, this times. is because you're you're listening to the the fucking audiobooks. Audiobooks too much, and he does call him Owen. Like right, I'm o- just going to call him Owen. Right. Hey, right, boys, back to the skirmish. Back to the skirmish. Uh, I I didn't finish my point. Your man Owen. All oh, right, sorry. <laughs> he, uh, oh, I was just going really Owen. bad. It was Owen. really bad. You were you were sitting there going Owen, 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 Ben. Right. Ben. Okay, I'll start again. Right, oh, Gimli's no. uncle is Oin. It's the exact opposite of what I wanted. Gimli's uncle is Oin, and okay. he doesn't cr- shed a tear. He, sh- he says all the tears for Balin. 
Because Balan's a great man. Yeah, but his uncle. Yeah, but Balan's a great man. They mightn't have the same values of family as they do for kings and leaders. I think Balan is the oldest surviving of the Durin's folk. Or, you know, he's, he's literally a great, great dwarf. Okay. So I, I honestly think so. Like, he's the w- one who's the most respected outside of Thor and Oakenshield and the whole company. Owen, oh, you've recently read The Hobbit. Would you say the same vibes come across there? Yeah, no, I think you're right in saying that he's like the last of the Jurens folk. That's why he's going back to fucking Moria. It's it's Jurens, so he's going back to get his home. That's where he yeah. grew up, right? He's um, literally a great, great man. Not quite Jesus, but maybe more like Aragorn or something, you know. Kind of like yeah. Jesus, but not in a sacrilegious way. Exactly, Ocean. Here's my Simpsons quote for today. <laughs> <laughs> one one every episode. One yeah. episode. Bull said it a few weeks ago, and I'm making. Sure we need I'm to listen to through them and find out where you've quoted Simpsons every uh, time. Wow. That needs yeah. to be relayed somewhere on Twitter. That's the next. That's the next podcast. Then Simpsons podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh jeez. Fuck wow. sake. Sorry, Owen. What were you saying there? For Ocean interrupted you. I was just saying, yeah, Balan's like old as fuck. He's been through a shitload of battles, and he's still alive. So. Like, you know, why that respect is there. Mass more. Nice. Arrow in the back, dead. <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty shit way to go. Sneaky orc tactics. Just like anyone else. Yeah. To kill Sneaky one of the great dwarves. Orc. Dead, right, though. That's Those how to do it. fuckers. Well, you know, if nothing else got them, you gotta try something different. Nasty way to go. Nasty way to go. So, boys, does anyone want to give a shout out to anyone in particular in the skirmish? Anyone stood up? Yeah. Uh, What's I, just the thing here I didn't understand. Maybe it's a name that I breezed over earlier in the book. But, okay, so it says that Sam killed an orc during the little fight here. Hmm. So, Ted Sandyman better watch out. I don't know who Ted Sandyman is. <laughs> he was in the pub at the start. Yeah, yeah definitely. He was just start. somebody who would have called Sam out for just speaking his, his truth. <laughs> oh, yeah. that was yeah. it. Right. It's okay. like, who do you think you are, Sam, with your with your talk of elves? Yeah. You know, nothing's yeah. happening. Uh, There's no yeah, such yeah. thing as climate change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's it. And uh, Sam is okay. obviously never mind the fact, right, that they've got uh, this this object and they're on a mission to save the world, and that uh, the stakes could not be fucking higher in the history of this entire continent. This is the most important journey. And if they lose this fight, they lose the whole fucking world. So that's what's on the line here. But Sam still needs to take it, this fella back in the shower to get motivation. He's like, I get me jib in the pub. Ah, I'm just picturing him as I'm stabbing. Yeah. Like, yeah. You need to find your uh, motivation, you know. Saving Fuck the world, it. isn't it? Ah. That, that won't do it for everyone. No. You know? no. Sticking it to that fucking bully. You know? yeah. Ted Fuck you. fucking Sandy, man. But th- this is actually the second time in a row in two episodes or in two chapters. I keep saying episodes because we're doing episode and stuff. Um, that <laughs> Sam comes in and saves Fro- well, not saves Frodo, but you know he's the first on the scene to get Frodo's back. Well, once Bill the Pony's out of the way, you know it's, yeah, it's, his focus yeah, is no clear other distractions. Clear <laughs> <laughs> their focus. Yeah. Do you think Bill got eaten by the wolves? No, no, I don't. Because Dick and Gandalf do a little whisper like, "Go on, Bill, you're under my spell. I'll fucking give it away." No, no bother. Oh, she don't do it. Bill. I know what you're thinking. You're going to do the horse whisper. What? No, I'm not. <laughs> when, when, when the race starts, go really fast. <laughs> 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 oh, is that Homer to uh, yeah, Furious yeah, Deep? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, so yes, uh, Frodo gets stabbed in the belly doesn't die because he's wearing the old Quicksilver vest or whatever it is true <laughs> silver Mithril <laughs> whatever it is yeah Mithril was he uh, targeted why did they go for him like I mean everybody's been attacked in fairness but yeah, the orc yeah. chieftain is the fellow who came yeah, in so like everybody left the 13 people dead it wasn't a troll by yeah way. not a cave troll like the film's making it he's bad isn't he an orc chieftain who's huge yeah. and he's got like what has he got he's got like a, a, spear. a red to- and a big shield and a yeah. uh, a red tongue. How how did they know he has a red tongue? Was he like I like to think he Gene ran Simmons from Kiss? Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He ran in like Kiss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Gene, whatever his name is from Kiss. He just ran in yeah. with the tongue hanging out. <laughs> 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 and he's fucking fast as well. Like it's a Boromir takes a swipe at him, and he's just like. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, yeah he's just an absolute lunatic. That like, was a duck yeah. for people who can't see me. Parries it, boom. 
Yeah, with his big monster shield. Yeah. Like, I I think that was class. To be fair, like, I would love to see that in the in the movies. Oh, did you 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 needn't worry because Ralph Bakshi does a fucking unbelievable. Oh, I've never I've never got that far into it. <laughs> <laughs> I seen a oh, it's the best video on YouTube. It's somebody <laughs> dubs over That's that a big scene, claim. and it's just like a bunch of people in the background going. Oh, oh, yes, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Are you sure that's a dub? Are you sure that's a dub? No one Ralph Bakshi as we did. Yeah. I only realised about five minutes in it was a dub. That's like yeah. post vampire oh, or something. Uh, <laughs> but, but yeah, so he stabs Frodo. Yeah. Yeah. After doing all his like trickery with the boys, he, he's he's he's, right, he's dodged two he's of quick, the strongest he's warriors. Lightning yeah. fast quickness. And yeah. fucking stabs Harry. stabs Frodo. And then that's when Sam comes in. Doesn't save Frodo, but but he slices like, yeah. the oh, he breaks the, the, the spear, spear in yeah. half. Yeah. But maybe, may, maybe that's what doesn't fucking burst Frodo's insides out. Because yeah. maybe Sam breaks it before your man can the actually pressure. thrust it properly yeah. into him. Yeah. Because armor or no armor, I mean, I want, I know it in the film yeah, it isn't a chieftain. It's, it's a fucking troll, which is even worse because he's strong as hell. He flings Boromir and Aragorn aside, easy peasy, and then he stabs Frodo, and Frodo doesn't die from like, you know. Burst, yeah, just organs, pressure, uh, ribs, heart. It lungs. would have been better if it went through him. At least you can like close a wound, but he's just crushed by this, mm. crushed by the yeah. armor that saved him. A, yeah, I thought it would be like a massive punch in the belly. Yeah. That's how Houdini died, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so how Houdini died? A big so. punch to gut. Because he used to do this trick where like he'd tense up his belly and nobody could hurt him. But some guy just went behind the scenes apparently uh, before the circus even started and just like, hey, I'll have a beer now. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but it, like, so yeah. he wasn't tense or anything? No, he wasn't ready. Uh, I, would, on the I know it's terrible to say, but I would have loved to hear the noises that come out of him like that. <gasps> ah, <gee. laughs> when you get winded, it's the worst thing in the world. Do you know what? Like, I, like, there's, there's, two, there's two things I, I think about that. Number one, right? If if that story is true, right? <laughs> Why is no? I have no credibility. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just think like not you. I've heard it. I've heard it from other people. Like, but if that story is true, then that is the worst case of wind in in the history. <laughs> <laughs> like grape lady falling. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't, yeah, yeah. You know that. Like, but secondly, if the story is true, I like to think that it was actually on stage and he got whacked by a tank and Harry was like, <laughs> yeah, he oh, was I wasn't tense. actually tense I wasn't ready. You <laughs> went, went too quick. Yeah. It's like yeah, the office that. with uh, Dwight punching Michael. Like, you got me. I, I blocked the first one, but you got me on the second one. <laughs> um, but in that one as well, what I loved the writing here is when he, uh, when Sam breaks the spear, Gandalf bursts the orc chieftain's head of sunder. Oh, he uses Please burst and a sunder in, clover in the same sense. Bursts it a sunder, which was class. He split Amazing. it in two. Cloven, he did. He cloven his head. Yeah. Made his head cloven, whatever that means. Well, I don't know what cloven meant. Yeah. <laughs> I think it just means like <laughs> split. Yeah, to cleave well, something helmet. is to like, uh, chop it off. Hmm. Like but if you ever like, I don't know, like blew up a watermelon or something. <laughs> That's yeah. what I like to think. Every week, that's how it went. went. But so yeah. it's such an um, Irish thing to say for you know, borscht. Borscht, uh, borscht, borscht the thing borscht. is under. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, real, right? And so then they decide they need they need to get out. Run for need, it, right? Right, yeah. they've got a gap, and they make a g- and then Gandalf shouts at Aragon, LOL. <laughs> it's just the first time I've seen Aragon in trouble <laughs> because scalded fucking child, so he was. Get out, you fucking idiot! And then what happens, right? Because I want to talk about this. Well, he picks Ar- he picks Frodo up, and then Frodo's Ar- like, "I'm yeah. grand." He's like, what yeah. the fuck? Picks him up. Oh, picked Aragorn picks up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they would have scared a wild boar. No, that yeah. kind of shit. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hobbits made of tough of stuff. Yeah. So ah, tough. I like what he. Yeah, he wouldn't have given yeah. them lip in the pub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 this is a bit unknown. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. That's very good. More soft. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ, he was messing with some tanks. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that is good. That is good. Right, but then Gandalf says to stay behind because he wants to bar yeah. the door, right? Yeah, Gandalf. Right. Bars so, them does anyone explain what the fuck happens then? Right, so he bars them off, right? But the Balrog's in that room then, is he? It seems to be that he is. That, yeah, I'd agree, yeah. He hears yeah. the orcs scuffling about and talking about gash as in fire. So fire. he thinks yeah, there's yeah, fire yeah. in the in the in the in deeper the depths of Moria. 
and then he fe- sees the flame or see- sees the light in up in the room right the shadow yeah. but then there's fire was, yeah. that's what I got that there's something behind the door that it, the orcs have left but there's something fighting him for that door like mm. Gandalf is yeah. at the top of a stair magicking the door closed and making mm. it stay closed and then all of a sudden he's like wait a minute there's something super powerful behind that door this yeah. spell isn't going to last what's mm. happening I don't know but it's more than that right because he says the counter spell nearly killed him yeah, yeah. yeah. so when he so closed... he had to no sorry just, no, just, just, just a fucking second here okay <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> no but uh, uh, what he says is that, so he had to speak a word of command I don't get that I thought that was part of the spell what uh, yeah what like what the fuck is going on remember we were talking about it's a soft magic system it's not explained mm. you know it's very much left up there and then he just drops in I think he does that on purpose so he can just say whatever the fuck he likes you know, he may as well have said that and had to use a key of Erisad mm. you know he, just, <laughs> he can just say what he likes like, yeah. yeah he just doesn't have to speak a word of command stay closed yeah yeah who is the command to the door or the thing behind it and he said it nearly killed him saying the command he's like I've never felt so spent I just love the scene that comes immediately after where like the boys have ran down the stairs to get safely away and then he just like it's dark so I just imagine just like a foomph and can't have stairs like Jesus something got me there boys it's <laughs> <laughs> just like holy fuck what the fuck was that? Uh, <laughs> did it not say he tumbled down the stairs though yeah, he did he, he fell down, down the, the stairs, stairs. Yeah, he yeah, fell yeah. down the stairs yeah cool. they didn't show that in the movie but he's straight back up he's like that was that was strong holy fuck, <laughs> holy fuck. <laughs> I don't know if he was straight back up I think he was like in absolute bits and then he's like where's Gimli because he needs someone short to carry him along and he's like <laughs> get drunk fella running that was the way I run it he's like because he asked specifically for Gimli yeah but it does I think it was because Gimli, Gimli knows can see, he can see, see that that good eyesight in the dark as well oh, yeah. he, Gandalf well doesn't done, have yes, the yes. power Frodo does too but he didn't tell yeah. anybody G- Gandalf doesn't have the power to do his little light anymore because he's so weak so he needs someone else to lead the mm. way with him and and he's a dwarf and then more right yeah it right. is a mad situation like the wall blows up because the spell is so strong mm. it's, it's strange. like when an unstoppable force meets an yeah. immovable object yeah. the door yeah. just blew up and rocks and everything is falling and then it's, it's just a mad chase scene then it's just drums yeah yeah they're just running like it's like oh god what's happening it's absolutely class and then they get to like the bottom of the stairs and they see all the light so obviously the boys went around like the Balrog is waiting for him they got him f- or see that's that's the part I don't get as well like he was in the room a second ago and then they went down Behind a couple them. of they went down a few levels like to the sixth level uh, yeah like five yeah. six levels Balrog knows his way around Moria I don't know and then all of a sudden the Balrog it says uh, so Gimli leads the way and it says Gimli sees the light ahead but it's not daylight it's red so I if, have a hot take if you want to can he fucking <laughs> I, I have a hot take, before yeah. the hot yeah. take give us a, can give us I a... just maybe give my interpretation of what I think happens that if they didn't get you, you can't just out. skip hot takes in front of hot takes I mean you got to say no, hot take it's not a hot take I think this is what the... <laughs> I don't think it's a hot take what I'm about to say that's my right point. go on take your tepid take then. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a tepid take I think well, yeah, it's, a the take, story, it's a take the story is it sounds like a take the way Gandalf says it right is that when he comes out into the hall just before the big bridge of Khazad Doom or the small bridge of Khazad Doom, he says, Oh, it's good now because we're in a spot that we wouldn't have got to because there's a big crack down the hall and we're on the other side of that now because we came out the door on the on inside the tomb. So they're in balance tomb, they took a door to the right or whatever. And then the stairs. If they went if they had no trouble and went out the front, they would have taken a different stairs and they would have found the same hall but by a different route where there's a big gap in in the two, in the in the big hall and they would have been on the other side of that couldn't see it and what it actually did is really helped them because the orcs were on that side and they were on the other side and they explain it later on that these big trolls come and bring two yeah, big slabs okay. yeah, and yeah. let the orcs pass so that's what i took from the scene hot take ready to go go on ahead I was going to say that there's lots of holes in the ground and the Balrog jumped in one. <laughs> <laughs> wow, excellent analysis. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely, you're probably right as well. Like, places and bits. Did, did the Balrog not come up out of the fissure? 
that the I just Balrog's put, been Fisher. there so long. I reckon he knows his way around pretty yeah, yeah, well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I reckon fissure is a fancy word for a hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he jumped yeah, in the hole is. and came out the fissure that the orcs couldn't Are get across. Are you saying it's like a pipe in Mario? You jump in one and you pop up somewhere else? Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly what I said. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. Can we talk about a little bit about it, right? So uh, when, they, when they get in trouble and they're all launching arrows at da 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 and Baromir is just a mad bastard. He's just I fucking laugh. laughing his head off. Yeah, blows the whole thing like this. I think that shows you yeah, like the life that Baromir has lived up to this point. Like his happiest times are when he's knee deep in orc guts, just chopping yeah. and fucking slashing <laughs> and just ah yes, I love this shit. Woo! Yeah, he's mad. Basically, and his when, life's been in bits. When when the, when the Balrog comes as well, he just fucking gets the horn out <laughs> yeah, it's like let's fucking go it's horn time it's pretty much like oh we're not hiding anymore oh, yeah. is, is, is it the time is it the time like, <laughs> yeah. I show everybody on my horn it, uh, he's buffed I like to think of him with that horn is kind of like uh, now this is a big reference here lads it's kind of like Charlie Day in the Lego movie you know the spaceship guy he's like can I build a spaceship and like no you can't build a spaceship oh okay <laughs> and then at the end of the movie they're like okay you can build a spaceship that's like <laughs> Barmere's like can I blow the horn and I seen the Balrog like that's a fucking horn blowing time right now <laughs> <laughs> you know, at the drop of a hat he is ready yeah. Yeah. does nothing but confuse everyone yeah, yeah, yeah. but long it gives you tr- like it gives the enemy it gives you two seconds because everyone's confused but yeah. you're also confused <laughs> so you don't gain <laughs> those two three seconds <laughs> yeah. but, uh, right as, so the, go on on yeah. I was just going to say as, as they were running from the orcs um, Frodo again like there's arrows whizzing everywhere and Frodo actually gets hit by an arrow and it just bounces off him and at yeah. this stage and in the whole chapter he still hasn't told people that he has Mithril on so the lads <laughs> yeah. must be like why Frodo arrows bounce off him <laughs> like uh, he's, the, he's the chosen one like, spears can't so kill him so he gets stuck by a spear off. arrows bounce off them what are hobbits you re- or do you reckon it's it's what our hobbits or do you reckon that Barmir's looking at going jeez I need me that ring yeah yeah, yeah that's the thing he could be either yeah. but he, know, didn't have it. he didn't have it I on. do love also the bit of com- comedy where uh, Arrow goes through Gandalf's hat instead. yeah of it's there yeah. like a feather <laughs> <laughs> is that li- a little kind of reference that like he's the bounder of everyone he's taking care of everyone that kind yeah, of thing oh, could be could yeah. be yeah yeah could be could be but he's then the Balrog turns up finally, right? We fight, you know, Gandalf originally thinks maybe the whole bottom floors of Moria are on fire. Yeah, yeah, like stone doesn't catch fire, Gandalf. Full of gash. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then... Gash everywhere. Balrog turns up and it's Legolas who who recognises it. Shit's yeah. attacks. But it's yeah, fucking he, Balrog. He, he goes to take a shot and then he, he's like, oh yeah, arrow. And then, oh wait, yeah. no. Oh, God, goes to take Balrog. a shot but ends up like just with a shit. In his, yeah, in his pants, pants. cause he's like a couple of thousand years old, right? So he's probably done some reading. He knows yeah. what the fuck a Balrog is. Yeah, Gimli God. has obviously heard of it as well. He's heard. They have a thing. different name for it because it killed mm. Durin. This one particular Balrog is famous yeah. for dwarves. True. It's like an urban legend. Yeah, it's the reason they can't go. And they, he drops his axe, doesn't he? Mm. He's and like, he, oh, he does that. He goes. He puts his hands yeah. over his face. Yeah, sure. If I just yeah. don't look at it, it's not there. Jesus, I heard that slap. Your poor face. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be on the radio. Yeah. The recording. No oh, well, leave it in. Effects. Sound effects. Sound effects. But yeah, I noticed, like, that shook me is that, like, Legolas just sh- literally just sank. And you never see Legolas, like, fa- falter yeah. at any stage during the films. He was making fun of the other lads for not being able to walk on snow, like. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Acting the prick. Basically, and, yeah, now he's... and now just one little Balrog <laughs> <laughs> shites the dogs gives up what I always wondered is is if right so is a Balrog a mire and and Gandalf's yeah. an Isatari which is a lesser mire yeah I think so or something so no, that's Ishtari, why they never Ishtari, give Gandalf is, no, hold on. Is, is Ishtari not just the order of the wizards no yeah, no, it's it a, is. They're, all, they're all myers Gandalf yeah, is a Meyer as well. Yeah, he is. He was a Meyer, but as soon as he was sent to uh, that's just Middle what Earth. the order of the wizard they're called. The no, no, they were nerfed. They were saying if you if you go in as a Meyer, you might try and get notions like Sauron. So we're going to nerf you, so you have less powers. You're one of the f- you're one of the folk. You'll 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 pass as a regular dude, and that's for your own good, so that you don't get high notions about yourself. 
Tell that to the fucking Balrog. Uh, the nerfing is just like, that's just the body. Like they wanted them to look old or whatever, but obviously. No, the, well, I heard that they would, they, the Isatari was literally a step down from Maya. You used to be Maya, but because we're sending you in there, we don't want you to make an kin- kingdoms for yourself. So you're an Isatari now. And so was Saruman, but he had, he got high notions. Notions, yeah, notions, right. yeah. Mm, okay, fair enough. I mean, it's interesting. I'm not sure if I agree with it, but fair play to you. I'm not it's sure I agree either. No, I just I don't like that at all. I think the whole <laughs> thing is Gan- Gandalf's greatest power isn't in actual fighting, though, isn't it? It's it's being fucking Gandalf, you know. Yeah, but, like, this is what I mean. He's still Maya, but he's just a little less. But like, but Balrog is a Maya anyway. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah he, he's meant to be a Balrog or a fucking a Maya spirit that was corrupted by Melkor, right? That's, mm. Uh, Morgoth, maybe not even Morgoth. corrupted. You just just joined them. Joined them, mm-hmm. yeah. But they they, yeah, they yeah, looked yeah. like that before he just they, they joined mm, Morgoth's side. I, yeah. Oh, I don't know because they are. Uh, yeah, I, don't know I, yeah, I was reading into the Balrogs as well, and apparently they all just they all looked like that. They right. all had the fire, and like everything was like. That. Let's talk about what they look like. They don't look like they do in the movies anyway. At least no. I don't think so. They took some fucking hot liberties there. For example, I don't think they have wings. It doesn't say they have any wings. Right, I have the description I wrote down because I knew it'd be a bone of contention. It is a bone of contention. We should do it one by one again and see what we think. Because I, I, right, right, yeah. I think oh, we all yeah, points. read it out and then we go one by one and we'll describe what they, what we think they look like. What it was could not be seen, like a great shadow. In the middle was a dark form of man shape, yet greater, and a power and terror seemed to be in it and go before it. It had a streaming mane, kindled and blazed. And the Balrog had a whip of many thongs, <laughs> which I like. Just the women, mm-hmm. he's just, you know, notch on the belt. <laughs> <laughs> Claimed a little p- trophy. <laughs> anyway. Wait, there's more, no? Yeah, go, go. Well, that's what I wrote down. There's probably, there's things about the shadow. Uh, so so you have nothing about, about wings the sh- there. <laughs> there's nothing about wings, that's what I mean. I don't know what... That's I- what- <laughs> So Paul, give us your point on the wings. I've not. I tell wings. you what, I've not done quite wings about. Doesn't fucking say it. Joe, you know definitely. It doesn't say fucking nothing about mandibles. Right. Anyway. Pass, pass me no the ball. No fucking mandibles. Pass me the ball. Right. Oh, go. Run with it. Go. Go. Oh, go. Right. So Tolkien writes, and the shadow about it reached out like two vast wings. Not that they were wings, like two vast wings. Right. Now, what confused me was what he said after. But what I think is. He was using that as more of a metaphor. But he says, and its wings were spread from wall to wall. I think he was just talking about the shadow of how big it was. Because yeah. it says, the shadow about it reached out like two vast wings. And then it says, and its wings were spread wall to wall. So its shadow, it was so big that the shadow was spread wall to wall. Because how fucking big is Moria? Like you're not going to have Huge. 600 meter long wings on a however big a Balrog is. Fair. Yeah, yeah. But... So yeah. right, cut to the fucking heart of it. There, what's he look like? Oh, yeah, I don't know how big he is. It, 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 it's hard to tell. Um, I, I, oh no, you finish home. Sorry. Um, no, no oh, go oh shit! I'm gonna let you go for here. He's been too ambiguous. Yeah, I want he's, direct he's, answers. I, oh, she, <laughs> how what is, I, how I, twelve feet tall. Like, come on. When I picture it, and you have to put the movie out of your head because obviously the movie puts in that devil kind of looking thing or what we mm. associate the devil to look like I picture him as like you know like ghastly in Pokemon you know where he kind of it doesn't have a defined form but it is the shape or shadow of a man but I, I think maybe about 20 25 feet tall flames coming out of some places shadows that's what I'm thinking when I see him okay Paul do you want to weigh in here I think Ralph actually did it justice with, uh, you know, fake bat wings and wearing a scarf, and he's just a bit taller than regular dudes. <laughs> <He's wearing a laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Man, the fashion sense. I think. Uh, have you ever heard, see, heard of the uh, material called Vanta Black? It's it's a paint. Yeah, uh, I've yeah. Heard I'm that. often and in the fucking slide robes, looking at fucking paint. No, types. no, no. This is a cool thing. You just find out on the internet. It's just it, it holds no light. It ha- it reflects nothing. So it's not just black paint. It like absorbs light. So if you Ooh, hold, that is cool. I apologize, but if you hold a basketball that's covered in this, they showed a basketball for the example, and it's in Vanta black painted in it. You will. It literally looks like he's holding a black hole. Like you can't see through it. You can't see. There's no depth. So it literally looks like he's holding a 2D object. You know, he's doing this, but it's 2D. 
So that and that's what shadow is, right? Mm-hmm. It is just you know, there's no light, there's no reflection. But in the film, it's kind of more like, well, it's shadow because there's smoke and flame, and the the flame and the smoke is what's causing the shadow. And he has literal wings, so that's what's causing the smoke because it's, they're on fire or whatever. But I just do you do think he's wings? Like, no, I think he has like what seems to be a man form with legs and arms and a face, but he's kind of on fire, but he's also like a black hole of Vanta black. And his wings are like, it says, what did I say there? He's smoldering, is he? Like a piece of coal. It's that damn Hansel. So hot right now. (laughs) Power and terror seem to be in it and go before it. So to go before it, I think like, I think there's literally shadow in front of him sideways and behind and up. You know, like it's Vanta black and his wings just seem to be sucking the shadow. Does he have wings or no? No wings. Just, it's a, it's a, it's a shadow. Stay away from the W word then. I think Owen when you're doing your description because I'm very confused I like this Vanta Black thing though I think Bull is closer to what I was thinking than Oshin but I'm not the judge here so go on what's yours um, what's yours no Owen go on we'll let you finish if you behave yourself <laughs> what was I doing <laughs> there is the word wings is mentioned in the book like, but it's not well it said the shadow is like wings yeah so he, he says wings. he says that the the shadow about it reached out like two vast wings he's using it metaphorically and then he's using that metaphor as a sentence when he says and it's wings i.e. the shadows um, spread from wall to wall that's that's right so he doesn't but look if you fall in a hole you're, you're gonna fly out if you have wings right Simple as that. Yeah, that that seems a logical conclusion you can to come also to. Just fly without wings. I think it's just. I disagree oh my with God. that. Like, is that Westlife? Is it? Disagree with that. I'll fly you with a. All right, let's just knock that on the head. <laughs> you can take um, that out. I think that I am pretty almost of a like mind with Bull here in terms of what he looks like, but I don't know about this Vanta Black stuff. Um, have you ever seen Look v for Vendetta? Hmm. Yep. Do you know there's a bit when he just right at the end when he walks in and it's like his origin story or something and he's just like a man covered in flame he's like a man but he's actually a flame so he's just melted you know he's just he's just 100% fire his whole body is fire I think he's wreathed in flame and I just think that means like his he's a dude right think of a, a man maybe around I'm going to say 8 foot 10 foot tall at most the Balrog you think yeah, yeah oh. he's not not 100 feet tall he's not okay. 20 feet tall say he's about 10 foot tall maybe 9 foot tall you know he's a big NBA lad a little bigger <laughs> only NBA, made out of fire some NBA player if you're a 9 foot tall <laughs> the tallest NBA player yeah. is, he, is he a monster is he <laughs> <laughs> and I think the shadow thing is like uh, for example like his, his sword is made out of fire and that casts like all these big shadows all mm. over the place and it's just a natural you know, the shadow goes before him because fire always creates massive shadows because mm. it's always flickering and shit, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what I just think of it, Jim. I just think he's a mad looking bastard. I don't think he's mandibles. I don't think he's fucking wings. Yeah. yeah. I don't think he looks like a demon. I don't think he looks like anything other than a shape. I'm kind of disappointed too that you said that they all look the same. I'd love to think that if you're a Meyer, you had choice over what you wanted to look like, like Sauron and Melkor. I maybe they do, but I think the Balrogs had the choice, and they are all like you know, like the SS all wore the same uniform, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like one guy decided, and he's he was oh that's cool, I'm having that, and there and that guy's just like oh shit, you all look like me now. Maybe so. Who knows? I need to read the Silmarillion again. Maybe the boss man was like, um, here boys, just want extra firepower because he, he leveled up Sauron right so maybe he leveled up them too and gives them like extra firepowers or whatever or counter spell powers maybe I reckon the, the Balrog actually just looks like your man from Hannibal what's his name the Danish guy <laughs> Mads Mikkelsen Mads, 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 Mads just a good villain <laughs> good villain yeah that's what the Balrog looks like if he had a sword and a whip I'd, I'd believe it yeah oh who'd be a funny Balrog maybe Toby Jones or he's oh. 10 foot tall <laughs> <laughs> oh, he'd be a good one so anyway boys then we come to it we we fucking come to it we've already read a bit of the book out here does anyone have the book close to hand okay, or, or um, I think I texted into our little whatsapp group we, we had like Gandalf's little speech. Do you want to? Do you want to go for it? Or do you think you could do it? Oh, God, oh such well, a... I'm a bit, I'm a bit drunk, right? Right, so it's the last, last page. Kazadum. I have it. I have it. I have it. Right. 
You cannot pass, he said. The orcs stood still, and a dead silence fell. I am a servant of the secret fire, wielder of the flame of Arnor. You cannot pass. Your The dark fire will not avail you, flame of Udun. Go back to the shadow. You cannot pass. Yeah. Oh, lads. Excellent. That is... Mm. I mean, like... But, fuck, what are you even supposed to say about that? That's some of the best shit. I, I think the only thing you can say is there's a big difference between you shall not pass and you cannot. Well, there's in the movie, he says he says you cannot, cannot pass first. and then you shall not right at the end. Yeah. They just add a little bit into it. But yeah, why, why do you think they did that then? Why do you think they, he says two different things in the movie? That's confusing. I think I it know, just... It worked better, right? It rolls off the tongue. If a bit he easier, said cannot like three times in the movie, I would have been like Might have yeah. been a meme. No, you wouldn't. I I don't I don't think so. Yeah, there must be a reason for it. Maybe they just want to differentiate themselves. Mm. Either way, boat That's class. Right. Yeah. I just he literally... fucking gives a guff when he says shall not. You know, at the start he's like you cannot pass in your mouth. He's like, ah, but I can I? I can. Uh, I'll give it a go. Before, like, um, you know, we get into the the whole, you know, fucking movie book slightly different book. Gandalf fucking destroys the Balrog sword, does he not? Yeah, in one shot, like yeah, one. Oh, shot. just like, don't. Go with them. That's not in the uh, movie. It yeah. is. Yeah, I just watched the film. It, oh, is basically, it? Basically, the Balrog comes down really fucking hard, but it looks like Gandalf's put like the big circular spell over yeah, him. It wasn't yeah. the sword that did it. Yeah. Mm. But I think, I don't know whether they just wanted you to think that he had magic around him in the film. Whereas in the book, you're just like, Gandalf's fucking strong enough to, to bait a Balrog. And in the book, you don't know exactly how big he is. You, from the text, you think he's just as big as a man or a bit bigger. Whereas yeah. in the film, he's like, so Gandalf needs a fucking orb shield around him for this boy because he's huge mm. yeah, yeah but does the sword just get destroyed no, in the I movie fuck, it, yeah, he falls back and he, he only has a whip left oh okay right oh, yeah, yeah, fair enough yeah. it's fucking class yeah that, I don't think it's been said yet though but like Gandalf is weary as fuck like oh, throughout he the chapter like as he's running man, away yeah. he's running away he's terrified like he's mm. like I'm yeah. all out of gas Tra- Aragorn like, and Baromir try to run out onto the bridge they're yeah, like he can't handle. do this like, he, he can't do it on his own yeah. Aragorn I think because he's brave and Baromir because he's just ignorant he doesn't know what this <laughs> thing is you know he, he's just like what the fuck is this man like, I'll, I'll have take him. I'll have you I'll have you give me one of these what do you think of that yeah the other two everyone else is too scared I think through knowledge you know yeah. so you could say Aragorn is brave and Barmir is just a fucking lunatic yeah, yeah. But, he's but the tank <laughs> go uh, on hit me hit me yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. I just, it doesn't Oof. work out great for him <laughs> I can't think of a better like paragraph and a half or whatever it is this little fucking thing especially Gandalf's speech that I've read I don't know maybe in my life like I don't fucking know fucking legendary I wish I read the books for the films you know that kind of way yeah. you know I remember seeing lads when I was in fifth class and they would like I'll, I'll say the nerds of the class and I, lo- I like these guys they were genuine like at least they liked they knew what they liked at that age I, I would fucking no personality in fifth class these boys knew what they wanted and <laughs> uh, they were reading it before the films came out and then they came out and they were like yeah well I knew all this you know yeah. they had that over us and you're like looking at a fucking 11 year old going what you like you fucking gimp oh yeah <laughs> I, I was in no place to be reading Lord of the Rings no, when the no, movies no, came out I wouldn't change it obviously because there's nothing better than watching yeah. this you know like that's so like, good but your man one thing that's stuck with me since I still have a fifth class image asking this fella like and he was he had the book he had like this thick of a book and he's just like yeah I'm this far through and, and they're only in the pub I was like fuck <laughs> that <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Uh, right do you just want to break down that what our, what Gandalf is actually saying there well it's easy when we have fucking YouTube and Silmarillion I mean it's hard when you're just right, go on, the first time uh, what is so Gandalf says I am a servant of the secret fire what's the secret fire I think it's uh I know you hate me referencing this guy, but oh. Orgal, 
Aru Aluvatar's <laughs> power oh. of creation. Oh, oh, oh. It's the flame. It's it's. So what he gives said, life. "I serve God." Yeah. So he began off basically saying, "You can't come this way. I'm a priest." <laughs> He's like, "I have the flame of life behind me, and you." All got right, and, and then uh, what? What? What's the flame of Anor? That's what I was just saying. It's uh, it's the thing of life. It's what creates. Wait, hold on. So, no flame wait, of which one? Doing? Wait, oh, the secret so the fire. secret and the flame of Anor are the same thing. I think uh, secret fire. Yeah, same thing. Why would he say <laughs> I am a servant of the secret fire and I will the secret fire? It's just two different names. That doesn't like, make sense. I, mean, if it's a... I am a servant of the secret fire. Will so he can't be servant of something he's willed them. Well, the fire and a flame. I mean, they're pretty much the same thing. So I think it's the same thing. The See, fire and the flame and the Holy Ghost. Well, Aww. that doesn't make any sense to me. That doesn't make any sense to me. Okay. So Does it make Gandalf sense says, to else? "I am a servant of the secret fire, wielder of the flame of Anor." Sure, surely that's two different things. Well, that a servant. So if he was a servant, he would have the flame of Anor. But how is he serving it if he's wielding it? He's a servant of the fire, and he he wields the fire that serves him. That he serves. I don't know. I just think it's the same thing. I, I might I be guess. wrong I'm just I, that's my opinion I'm gonna go with the he, the ring of power that he's wearing is the uh, the flame of Anor maybe yeah that's what I thought as well the flame of Anor so it gives him fire powers you know because he's wearing an elven ring I think you're right about the secret fire that's God are you going with oh. that one what do you think yeah, yeah. I, I'd agree with that like the, the next line is the, the dark fire will not avail you so like the, is the dark fire like the line of Morgoth and mm. you know, I don't know Sarah about and... this. So yeah, that is. So you'd say like more God. Yeah. Ocean, do you have any hot takes on this? I have a hot take. Ain't got a breeze. Here. Didn't do any research on that little <laughs> so, thing. Won't like I you. think um, if you ever had an udon noodles, it's like a Japanese teriyaki <laughs> dish. And if you get some chili flakes <laughs> on right. it, then it'll <laughs> come out hot, and that is dark fire. <laughs> <laughs> come out there. So is that the flame I, of uh, udon? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm going with there. Lovely lady. So you get that in the Wagamamas or something like that. Oh, Wagamamas is good. I'm probably going to butcher this, but I think Udam or Udom, whatever. Udun. Udun. Udun, right? It's the corner uh, of Mordor. It, it, yeah, it's a section or a kingdom called. It used to be called a Tumno or something. I'm not sure. It used to just be one of Morgoth or Sauron's little dominions, little kingdom. I think he's independent of Sauron. I don't think they're on the same team. It could have been Melkor or more. Yeah, I don't it's think more... the Balrog. That's why the orcs aren't on. They're not working with the Balrog, are they? They're all terrified of them. Mm. Mm. Like they're trying to get the ring off Frodo, but then when the Balrog comes up, they're like, "Oh fuck!" You know, mm. Are they get away. like the? You said they're so nonchalant. Are they trying to get the ring off Frodo? Do they even know they ha- he has a ring? I mean, I thought he was fucking targeted by the orc chieftain. Why didn't he go for everybody else? Yeah, I. Why, I why do you try and yeah. fucking stab your man? What a dick. Get, oh, I've just ducked from that fella. I've just taken a blow away from Aragon, and now mm. I just got that little fucking wimp in the corner. What the I f- think they know a halfling has it. I think they're from Mordor, all right. That's my that's my guess. Yeah, I thought they uh, lived there. I thought Mordor. They do. Was just they do. Always... They do. Yeah, but I mean, I think that maybe that that chieftain and the lake. who's doing the messages. <laughs> you know, who's Everyone. running out for milk and tea in Mordor and coming back and saying, "Oh the well, Sauron maybe... said that we need to do this." Well, probably the Nazgul, right? Because we know they came the way, so it would have been easy to go through Mori on the way to the Shire. Yeah, no one's going to fucking touch them either. Imagine the yeah. Nazgul arrived in the Shire on the fucking dragons. Nobody be saying no to them then. Yeah, fuck me. Jesus. Or an El Balrog. <laughs> yeah. I'm guessing. Fuck a big plate of Udon noodles. <laughs> <laughs> we're an hour and 17 into this. Do we need to close up shop? Come on, fuck. Uh, we're nearly done. Anyway, we're nearly done. done. Yeah. We're nearly done. So, right, Gandalf destroys the bridge. Clever move. He doesn't get the credit, does he? Like, you know, he can't kill him, so he says, fuck it, I'll kill the bridge. Mm. Yeah, Gosh. in the movie, that doesn't seem like such a smart move because he's huge. It looks like he could have stepped over that gap in early in the film. He's got wings. Yeah, or he's got wings so he could fly over. But in the <laughs> book, Wings that clearly definitely... don't work in the film. Yeah, because, yeah. come on, like, you, you, you have wings, you yeah. use them. Sorry, yeah. I didn't mean to jump over you, but like... No, no, you're right, you're understand, right. He doesn't have wings, or he didn't use them. And also, he doesn't really destroy the... Like, he kind of crumbles the bridge. But I feel like in the book, he blows it up. Yeah. He fought a big, massive crash of white lightning. And <laughs> the bridge over the river, Kwai. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Damn busters. Yeah. <laughs> 
But fuck it, he does it and then uh, he gets grabbed. He's not on hanging on the ledge yeah. when he says, fly you fools. He's like shouting it into the dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fly, yeah, yeah. fly <laughs> you go. Get- fly you fool. Yeah, <laughs> amazing. How God. did he whip him and then let go of the whip? In the, huh? like the film annoys me in that sense because like, he's gone he's dead flings the whip up grabs his leg has a latch then like let's go so Gandalf has time to say it I, okay, I, yeah it makes me. more sense yeah, yeah it makes more sense in the uh, in the book yeah I, I agree <laughs> what's funny to me is right like this this fella this whatever size he is the this balrog guy. this guy he's the coolest guy <laughs> um, whatever whatever size he is the, it says that the, the bridge of Casadum fits one person and he yeah. walks mm. out onto the bridge so is he yeah. like scooting out on his like sideways to get back like a toe <laughs> I come back or like you. one foot in front of the other like a like the, you know the dudes on the yeah, wire yeah yeah it's fencing it's like <laughs> Olympic fencing I don't think yeah. he's fucking 20 foot tall like Ross exactly, said he's, yeah. he's yeah, only yeah, he's yeah. only fucking 10 foot He's a, yeah. he's a monster. I think that leads credence to my clear water. Sorry, my uh, <laughs> <laughs> my theory. It's twice on the pod, lads. Oh God, they're getting a good doing tonight, so they are. Yeah. Oh, they are. Oh, Jez, they, are. Oh, the they are. Are they still oh, alive? I'm sure they're listening if they are. Fans. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I don't know. Sure. And um, I wanted to say, like, you know, obviously, listen, we've all seen the movies. We know what's going to happen. We read the books. They've been around 70 years, etc., etc. So imagine you cast your eye back to the 50s when these books were coming out. And you'd grown up reading The Hobbit. And you fucking loved it, right? And then you couldn't wait. And then you're, you you were 10 years later. You, you're a young adult now or whatever it is. The target audience, Lord of the Rings. And fucking Gandalf dies in the first one. It must mm. have been like a twist. I know we all know I comes back or whatever, whatever. Mm. Yeah, but I know that at the time. No. Yeah. yeah. Fuck it, must have been mad. George or Martin eat your fucking heart out. As the boys are running out, they're like running across the bridge, crying to themselves. Yeah. All yeah. of them just wild upset. It's like I can't believe what's just after happening. Yeah. yeah. I don't know Frodo what's happening. Frodo doesn't even happening. notice he's crying. Yeah. Mm. Frodo looks at Sam and says, like, "Just Sam is crying," and then yeah. he's like, "Oh, just somebody." Oh, <laughs> oh God! Yeah. Like it's just. Whoa! What? He's a good friend. Main like. character. Yeah. Yeah. He was the main character though. Yeah. In a lot, I know Frodo is too. But like, mm. ever since Gandalf, he just he dominates every single room he's in. Like yeah. every chapter where Gandalf is about Gandalf. Mm. Even Isn't... earlier in this chapter, he's calling the shots for the fight when they're in the room. Aragon, yeah, like, don't block the doors. doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Do not close the doors. So like, all right. yeah, he said that yeah, in the chapter, in last chapter as well. He's calling the shots at the fire with the wolves. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah. just you can have Frodo and you can have Aragon in the scene. You can say Aragon is you know a very important character, but Frodo will still be the main character. But that's not the case in Gandalf's about. Yeah, hundred percent. He just swallows all the oxygen on the page. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He just is the fucking like larger than life, obviously. Like in every so to see him die, must have been a fucking shock. Like you see him so much over the last two chapters. You see him as strategist, guardian, leader, fucking magician, fighter, linguist, you know, linguist, but also like human. You know, he sits down to have a fag at one stage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, Jesus, I need a smoke here. Yeah. Uh, smoke and then, man. like, you know, and he also doesn't know which paper. way he's going. Oh, good lad, in you go. Have a yeah. 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 He's like a fatherly figure yeah, as well yeah. as everyone else. Like, yeah. And he also grabs Aragon by the scruff. <laughs> I'm Jack Bauer. <laughs> yeah. I'm Jack Bauer. <laughs> yeah, he could be Jack Bauer to be honest. I actually wanted to give a shout out to Aragon because he does something cool. He smote someone to the ground. Oh yeah. On the way out, there's a couple of orcs on the way out. At the gate, he smote him. He's like, yeah, it's none of your nonsense. Good luck. Mm. Oh, I had no time for his nonsense. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Gandalf yeah, is yeah. dead. Smote. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> this doesn't matter anymore. Can you imagine how uninformed the 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 boys at that gate were? Like, oh, look at these fuckers. How'd they get all the way through? Yeah. These fucking idiots inside the tombs. They didn't see a thing. Well, I'm yeah. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> just once in my life I'd like to smote something yeah. just once like, next feeling. time maybe I don't know if I like 
have to flush a, a, like a bug down the toilet or something. I'd be like, aha, I smote him to the pups. <laughs> you know, it's something. Find an old fucking earwig in my house. I'm going to smoke them. <laughs> earwig. Hey, I'm trying to think Rumble. of a pest. We don't have many, like, flies. Bushed and flies left, right, and centre this week. Yeah, 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 because the windows would be open. Yeah, the big fucking blue ones. Don't ever let anybody tell you that I wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> I'd kill no, it. for dirty, <laughs> dirty things. Mm. But uh, when our when Aragorn does that, right, the other orcs around, they say I think it's like an orc captain this time. So in the yeah, tomb, yeah. it was an orc chieftain. chieftain. Yeah, one at yeah, the gate yeah. Is an orc And they captain. killed him. All the other orcs fucked off for a while. Like oh mm. shit! And then the same here happened. I'm just give a shout out to uh, Shadow of Mordor who do the exact same thing in the games. That like if you kill a chieftain or a captain, they just mm. get scared and fuck off. Yeah, I love that. They're just little fucking puppies. Yeah, that's a good show. Yeah. Same in Halo, isn't it? <laughs> Same in Halo, the wee little grunts will run away if you mm. shoot the the captains or whatever. I wonder is that inspired from? I'm this? gonna have to bleep those two fucks. Yeah. It's just unnecessary. Only. Because I love Lord of the Rings, I'm gonna say yes. Everything is inspired by it. <laughs> everything, including democracy. <laughs> <laughs> the Greeks they didn't know what they're on about. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Yeah, but it's some you, fucking job. I like. think uh, at some point in in this pod that we've mentioned, like if someone finds Lord of the Rings a thousand years from now and just decides that that's the new religion, I'm game. Well, you you don't know that this didn't happen. I mean, it was a thousand years ago. I mean, the I'd Holy Sacrament to be Udon noodles. <laughs> yeah. Udon noodles. Delicious, oh, delicious. Class. Can't wait. Well, look, let's start. Let's start it now. That is dark fire the next day, though, if you put the little chili flakes on top of it, you know, like, and you make it spicy. It's not usually a spicy dish. It's like saying, it. you know, I'll have a bad arse if I put chili flakes and corn flakes. Of course, that's the case. Yeah. <laughs> Stop putting chili flakes and stuff. That's good, though. That's <laughs> oh, yeah, good. Though. I am a wielder of the secret fire. <laughs> <laughs> Lads, any stone left unturned here on this chapter? Have we any old hot takes? Like we've, it's about twelve pages long. We're an hour and a half in. Uh, yeah, I, know. I don't know. Too much in this one. I still don't think we did a credit. No, we like, did. We did good. I think. Before we go, any hot takes, lads? Any hot takes? I have nothing more to add. I think we. I uh, had my hot I, take. I mentioned, yeah, we kind of mentioned them bit by bit, but I don't think I have many more. I just like the can not that I like the Gandalf died but I like that people are like oh George or Martin Game of Thrones people die every chapter it's like yeah well you know Gandalf dies right yeah he didn't he didn't pick it off the ground yeah he also oh, says okay. I remember I seen a video and George or Martin says if I was writing that book Gandalf would have never came back that's easy with hindsight right oh, of course. there's two two years between the fellowship and the release date of uh, two towers like mm. they didn't come out back to back or at the same time yeah. for two so years people think Gandalf's dead exactly mm. it's a twist you yeah, know like, 100% it is a twist and and listen I like what George R. Martin essentially writes deconstructions of genres right that's his whole thing so fair fuck still like you know mm. it's class at least Tolkien finished his fucking books yeah Ooh. shots fired maybe you'll come on and defend <laughs> yourself George <laughs> yeah actually no George don't come on and defend yourself because you shouldn't be listening you should just be at home writing books on a diet. Yeah. <laughs> Bastards. And I guarantee you his middle name is aren't starting in or and or. You prick. George Robert Robert <laughs> Robert for robbing. Robert for robbing. <laughs> Fuck you. Right, boys, we leave her there, will we? Leave her yeah, there, boys. Too, too much. Give us a give us a follow on the old Instagram. Give us a look out on the reviews if you're into it. That's cool. Um, Patreon is also good. Um, we are Drunk Talk. Give us a Google, you'll find us. And um, other than that, yeah, goodbye from me. Goodbye from the lads, lads. Good luck. Goodbye now. Bye now. Bye now.